I just put it through this sieve, and this sieve is super simple. There's an old piece of pool fencing and uh, some wire mesh that just held on with some. It just held on with some uh, some tie wires, and then we have this, which is not a heavily sifted compost. This is not a compost that's sifted for a potting mix, but this is just sifted to get the debris out because it's not fully finished. So. This is a really good growing medium. So if you're planting a fruit tree or you're planting like we're planting treasure fruit with this, this is a great well structured compost. There's still a lot of nutrient left in it for the microbes to chew on. And why would you bother <coughs> sifting out? I mean, if you're not getting it down the potting mix, why would you sift out the debris? Uh, I'm going to use that for mulch on top, and then, oh. I'm, and then I'm, I'm going to put that on top, put that on the bottom, because you don't want it too airy when you when you plant the, a, a plant because. They don't, the roots don't express themselves very well if there's too much air in the hole. Hmm. So we use a finer mix to pack around the, gently pack around the roots. We spread the roots out and then put compost and soil in layers and uh, feather the roots out neatly so that we get the amount of oxygen we want without having too much oxygen in there. Uh, and this debris that we sifted out, is much coarser because this compost is only five or six weeks old so it's not finished and it hasn't been all that well managed because I've been away so much but look at how much woody material is in there mm -hmm. but that's terrific to use under a mulch like this okay so we put we plant it in, in this material we plant in that material which is a medium material okay we, we put that on top around it and then we mulch with something like this okay and then we have a very low maintenance planting, so you don't have to run around trying to keep the plant healthy or keep it watered too much. And it's productive for a very long time because we.